Hello, my little unicorn lovers. How are you doing? It's been so long since we've done a unicorn vlog. How are you guys? I hope that you've been keeping well and that your unicorn dances have been um, sensitive and private. So Unicourtney, AKA Courtney Pants, is not in the state that I'm in. This is what you get for the background instead. Okay, I have news. I made a video called Hipster Glasses that has not been put up on my channel yet with Michael Livingston, who I work with on many other things. He's standing behind the camera right now. You can come over here if you want. He and I made this film video, which is his favorite word for things. Uh-huh, a film video. Film video. Um, and entered it into a film festival. And it got in. It's on Friday, this Friday. Friday, Friday. Um, and you guys are invited if you can make it. If you're in Los Angeles. If you're in Los Angeles, come. And then next week, I'm going to put it up on my channel so you guys can see this video that we made that we thought was so fabulously awesome that we entered it into a film festival contest. Mm -hmm. Yay! I'll put all the details below in the underpants bar. Okay. Yeah, I'll go now. Okay, bye. Bye. He, go he goes to focus on my face. Next topic, outfit of the week. So the outfit of the week this week goes to Roxy Bella um, with her fabulous 1960s go-go outfit. I love the 60s and I think that they're very um, stylish with the eyeliner and the very clean lines and the poofy hair. This is my poofy hair. Mi sombrero, mis amigos. Hola. And from the office, the outfit of the week goes to a look I like to call Dreamcatcher. Gemini edition. And now for a segment I like to call Nerd News. I'm putting on my pretend glasses. Nerd News. So in, there's a lot of nerd news this week. Have you guys seen the Wonder Woman costume? I've been talking a lot about it on Facebook. It's a travesty. It's very tacky. I think that there should be a giant protest. <laughs> I don't see why in an era where Lady Gaga walks the streets wearing underpants and like hats and weird shoulder pads that Wonder Woman can't wear like an authentic Wonder Woman costume that looks fashion forward. Her outfit should be something that you wish you could wear, but no you couldn't. Instead of something that um, you would ask your friend to take off before going out in the evening to walk the streets. Too, too mean? Moving on, that, so that's a nerd news downer. This is a nerd news upper. Apparently, Warner Brothers is going to reboot the Batman franchise after Chris Nolan is done with this third movie that he's making right now. I think this is actually great news because that means that they won't try to tamper with Christopher Nolan's uh, stamp that he's made on the last three movies. They can just start fresh with something new. So you won't have the thing that happened with those Tim Burton ones where you have Tim Burton, Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher, uh, with the giant crazy weirdness that he made with his movies. For those of you who are interested in living forever, anyone interested in that? The, the Singularity is Near by Ray Kurzweil. There's a book out talking about how this guy thinks that technology and biology are going to merge to the extent that we will be half computer and live forever. How do you guys feel? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that we should live forever? Or do you, are you looking forward to what's next? Hopefully not looking forward to it too much. The idea of intelligence becoming non-biological and becoming something synthetic is interesting. It makes me feel nervous and worried. But you know, immortality is a possibility maybe in the future, maybe in our lifetimes. And does that open the question to um, if we're all immortal, what about there can be only one. I, I have the power. Yeah. Courtney Pants isn't here, but I am still dedicated to bringing you Unicorn Camel Toe. Here you go. I have been asked to give you guys acting tips with auditions and stuff. My audition tip of the day 
is to always rehearse your audition with another person. Don't just rehearse it in front of the mirror by yourself. Interacting with another person will get the lines and the feelings inside of your body, and then your body won't be a surprise to you when you show up in the auditioning room. Because I find that if you just read your sides and memorize them when you get there, you're just standing there. But if you're practicing with a person in advance, then you have your human body language already ingrained into yourself. Don't do this, probably. This is not appropriate for any kind of human behavior. As per usual, I am taking a Twitter question of the day. You can follow me on Twitter at SessMonster. Tommy94 asks, what's your blood type? Well, delicious, obviously. <laughs> <laughs>